joints line up. So I like to see the ankles and hips in a straight line. So I'm leaning back a little. You want to tilt, yeah, you want to have a little side bend. You want to stay behind it. You're a little too wide here with your stance. Just a little bit too wide. Now let's see, as you move off the ball, you get a little bit of sway. See how the hips kind of slide there? That lateral shift. So that is uh, that's a power leak to some degree. And then coming through, you stayed behind this one, so this is good. So a little more loft than the driver, and I, I would definitely go with a softer shaft. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to spend money on a new uh, set of irons, I'd get a driver. Because I think you could benefit from a new driver. You've just... Oh, I just oh okay, I'll be right with you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You're at 10 o'clock, right? Yeah. You, you can just take a couple clubs there and, and warm up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, other than that, I think you're a little too wide. So let me show you what I would do. Let me just give you a couple people to look at. This is Hale Irwin. 70 years old, 143 times on the senior on the champions tour. He's hitting a three wood there. Stance is a little more the ankles are lined up with the hip sockets. In your case, I think you're just a bit wide. Mm -hmm. um, and that will inhibit your ability to, to uh, shift your weight to some degree. Uh, Jason Duffner, now he's a little wider. Here's his ankles. There's his hips. Yeah, so he's a bit wider. More like you. Turns back. Notice there's no hand action. See that takeaway? That's what I like. See how he keeps the angle in that left wrist the same the whole way. Arms are completely straight there. Nice wide takeaway. Then once the club gets to about parallel to the ground, now he's going to start to bend his right arm. But he doesn't consciously think about cocking his wrist. They just cock. Starts the downswing with the lower body. See that move right there is what you're not getting. And then he turns through. And now watch the center of his chest and the butt end of the club are going to move together as he comes into the hitting zone. And then the one fundamental principle that all great players have is the shaft is in line with the lead forearm. There's no flippage. Now you have a little bit of early release because you have a power leak. And your power leak is you sway. So you got some lateral shift there. So what I would work on is activating this inner thigh muscle and turning that right foot inward just a little bit. Whatever you can do to thwart that lateral shift in the right knee and the right hip because that's a power leak. But other than that, I mean that's a great position at the top. You throw it right there. Now you see what's going on here is you start down with your hands. Mm -hmm. Then start with my hips. <laughs> no, right. And so what you do is you unload all your power a little bit prematurely by uncocking. And that's just because of the sequence problem. Uh, now, can you play good golf doing that? Tom Watson had a great career, and he re releases a little early. Uh, but that lower body, we call this disassociation. So as, as he gets to the top... His arms are going in one direction and his hips are going in another. That coactivation there creates lag. So the hips go first, then the trunk, then the arms, then the hands, and then the club head. But the good news for you is you're doing better on your backswing because you're not using your hands. That's nice. Nice wide takeaway. Good shoulder turn. Just get a little handsy from the top there. But other than that, pretty darn good swing. You got amazing flexibility.